Hi, this is Anil from Learning Led Education and welcome to What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you the C program and we ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna run the program and we're gonna explain the output. So all you need to do is you know pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then come up with the output of this program. Once you have the answer, just play the movie again. I'm gonna run this program and I'm gonna explain the output. Alright, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna build and run this program. So the answer is gonna be 3. In this program there is not a lot to confuse you but some of you guys may have confused with the default case which is at the first position. Inside a switch statement we can have the cases wherever we want. What I mean by that is you know you don't need to order the case values you know we can place them wherever you want like in this case you guys can see first we have the default case and then we have the case 1 case 3 case 2 they need not be in an order so here what happens is you know this switch expression will be evaluated and that expressions value will be matched with the case statements if any of the case values matches with that expressions result then the statements inside that case will be executed so here we have this value 3 in the i variable and that uh, expression is gonna yield 3 and that uh, value 3 will be matched with the case values here case 3 is gonna match and that's why it's gonna execute the statements inside the case 3 so printf 3 will be executed and it's gonna print out 3 then we have the break statement and you know the switch statement will be terminated so here the default case will be executed only if none of the case values match with the expressions result so here let's say we're gonna have a value of 6 for this i variable and now if i build and run this program you guys can see zero will be executed that's because you know the expression in this switch statement is gonna yield a value of six and uh, it will not match with any of the case values and that's why the default block will be executed so we can have the default block anywhere we want and it is perfectly valid so this is it guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my website learninglet.com for more video tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial